hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video i hope you're doing very well so today i'm very excited to do this video because i'm going to be using a very special special palette in case you probably couldn't tell by the title but today i'm going to finally be testing out the nikki tutorials x beauty bay palette as soon as this got announced i was like I am all over that. I've been watching Nikki tutorials ever since I've been kind of getting into makeup so I would say it's probably been about like three years now that I've been watching her content and she just is the most talented person in the whole world and as soon as I saw this and you guys know how much I love Beauty Bay it's one of my favorite kind of websites to go and just buy makeup but their palettes themselves are fantastic so when I saw that they were doing a collaboration I put my name down on the waiting list and I purchased it without a lot of hassle but a lot of anxiety because I was just thinking am I going to get the code but I got the code like half an hour before it went on general sale um, and I managed to pick it up and yeah I got it today very excited I'm sure you guys have seen what it looks like on the inside if you haven't it's this beauty right here um, I mean I think I'm going to do a red look today because why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, I've been kind of having a think about what look I wanted to do, but I feel like the reds are going to be what's more beneficial um, for me, probably. Um, and I've just got a couple of other products as well that I wanted to use that I pre recently purchased. Um, I'm not going to do any swatches on this because I feel it probably will take up too much time and I'm sure you've seen other reviewers do swatches and I'm not very good at swatching because my lighting is pretty terrible but I've already put on the base everything else I will put on after I do the eyeshadows because essentially this palette is the main <laughs> you know the main event um and yeah let's just get into it I'm gonna um say the names as I kind of put them on um and I got some new brushes as well that I was gonna try out I went to Morphe today um in East London and I picked some up because they're on sale and why the hell not so I'm very nervous about trying this palette because I just don't want to mess it up um, and I want to do a good job so <laughs> here we go so yeah the palette is 25 pounds to my knowledge right now it is sold out um, all right first of all I'm gonna put on Mikai which is um, the main shade that I was obsessed with which is the red one which is named after Nikki's brother um, that passed away I think it might have been a year or two ago I'm just gonna tap off the excess as per usual um, and just put it oh my god hell yeah um, so like I was saying I put my name down on the waiting list and yeah I <laughs> wow um, yeah basically got the palette I um, it turned up I think it must be like two days ago I got it delivered to my mum's because I still don't feel 100% comfortable it being delivered to where I am at the moment but you know I still got it I'm very happy I forgot to mention I got the pink pock socket as well which is really cute so I got this one you would have got a choice of two um and it, yeah it would have been like obviously the light side or the dark side um it's like the I am me and you are you so I got the I am me side um which is very cute. I never use pock sockets, but I'll be using this one because why not? Um, straight away, you can see that red is freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm just really taking my time using this palette because I want to do something nice. Um, because why not? That's what that's what you know. Doing tutorials is is trying my best to make it look very nice. I always feel like my eyes are shaped very differently. Like, if I do a look on one side, it will look different on another side. Or I'm just bad at makeup. That's probably it. Uh, I'm still going in with Mikai because I'm just piling it on. <laughs> because, I mean, it's it's very pigmented. Like, you can see. Um, I haven't put down... I haven't actually ever put down anything. I put a bit of foundation on top, but that was just about it. Because I tend to coat my my eye should my eyelids in foundation um i'm gonna go in with reputation next and what i'm gonna do is smoke it on the outside i hope and i've got this really small morphe brush which is the m138 and i'm oh my god okay so these are very um 
yeah, I know these I knew these would be very pigmented, but I did not know how pigmented they were. So I have got, like I said, um no redemption, not reputation. I'm not talking about redemption, uh, which is this orange shade. Um so yeah, what I was saying before, it is sold out. I think it's sold out in a day. Um but apparently you can put your name on this waiting list and as soon as more come in stock um you can get it which i find very strange because um in nikki's video she did say that you know when it's sold out it's sold out um and now that they have a waiting list which i i think is a very good idea because if people really wanted to get this palette they have another chance to get it um but i mean i had no problem getting it as soon as i got my code I went on the Beauty Bay website and I purchased it and I purchased one of their new highlighters as well which I'm going to try and I checked out really easily I think they learned from like the Jeffrey and Shane kind of situation because when I was trying to buy from them then it just crashed <laughs> if you were buying that palette that day you know what I mean um I'm gonna go in because I don't want to go into like crazy colors and ruin the look um i might go in with a darker shade just to darken up the corners so let's go in with 5 a.m oh god oh i just <laughs> i'm trying to be careful with this palette i don't want to be like going crazy with it because i want to do a look that's not over the top uh, also if you i mean <laughs> this is probably going to People are probably going to be annoyed, whatever, but in the Morphe store, they, because they're not associated with Jeffree Star anymore, um, they have his cosmetics for 50% off. No, sorry, his cosmetics are 30%, but his collaboration is 50%, so this brush was like £2. If you want some nice Morphe brushes, head to their Westfield shop for a deal, I guess. <laughs> um, so one thing I love about Nikki tutorials is um, kind of her honesty when it comes to using like this palette. Um, I'm going in with Vila, VLA next. I don't know if that, v <laughs> let me have a look a bit closer, hang on. VLA, 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 I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, I did watch her video, <laughs> but I completely forgot. Um, I'm putting this the shade in the corner just here and just blending. Um, as I was saying, yeah, I love um, kind of her honesty because she was talking a lot in her video about her first collaboration, which was with Too Faced, and they really messed her about. So if you don't really know about it, um, she did a collaboration with Too Faced, and I believe it was the formula that came out for the palette was just really bad. Um, and a lot of the fans were blaming her, and obviously it wasn't her fault because she wasn't the one who was producing it she had just you know created it with them um and they just really messed her over which is really shitty but she has bounced back so much from it um and now she has this amazing palette because so far i'm really liking it um i have used what three or four shades i'm gonna add one shimmer into the middle and i'm gonna just call it for that um let's go in with Aura, which I'm, I'm guessing is like a pinky shimmer. I don't want to see these shimmers are so sensitive. I've literally just made an indent. <laughs> it looks like looks like a naughty thing. Um, actually, I'm going to use use this because it's going to be very soft. Oh, mama! Right, we're going to go in the middle and tap. Um, but yeah, this collaboration. I mean. I, I love Beauty Bay. I think they're a fantastic um, like company when it comes to just dealing with problems. I mean, during lockdown, I did a few orders and they were no problem whatsoever. Um, and if there was a problem, they resolved it pretty much straight away. Um, and yeah, I really like the fact that they've collaborated with a great YouTuber. Um, and it's going to put them on the bigger map as well because obviously her palette is only available on their website and they're a UK brand um, so it's going to get their name out there good job um, this shimmer is beautiful 
I'm gonna <laughs> put the finished look on my Instagram so if you do want to see what it looks like a bit closer check out my Instagram um I've had absolutely no problems with this palette I will be using it in the future um and it's a really good purchase um I mean 25 pounds and you get all these shades you get like a gorgeous like magnetic kind of palette you get two mirrors you get really good packaging I like the kind of minimal aspect of it um, and you get the shade names in the little card um, and it also says like the best brush to use them with which is pretty good um, so yeah that's like amazing well done Beauty Bath and Nikki you did like a fantastic job so moving on from the eyes I'm going to use a blush next and I was on the Debenhams website it's so strange so if you're if you're watching from like another country, Debenhams is just a store that sells clothes and makeup and stuff like that. And they had like a sale on, so I got two things from there. So I got this mini set by NAR, so you get a mini orgasm. <laughs> and yeah, um, actually I think they're both called, yeah, they're both orgasms. Great. Um, you get a lipstick and a blush. So today I'm just using the blush. And I think I got the set for like £12.50 and I actually started laughing when I saw how big this is because it is like very tiny. Um, I've never tried this blush before so I'm very excited to see what it's like. I've heard it's quite shimmery um, so I'm gonna... It even comes with a cute mirror. So let's... I'm just gonna tap this on and to see how buildable it, be, it is. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good I mean there's so much red on me I probably can't even tell um it's nice you know it's for a blush you can't you can't go wrong let me just add a bit more because blush attack that's me okay that's nice I'll be yeah no problems with that I guess um mini orgasm we all like we all like one of those um next i'm going with highlighter and like i mentioned before i'm using the beauty bay highlighter so they recently came out with a little collection of lip glosses and highlighters and this is in the shade beam um i was kind of rushing when i chose this one because i didn't want to lose the palette in my list in my kind of um trolley so i just chose this one and i really hope oh yeah I was going to say, I really hope it's good, but um, it's good. I mean, the packaging feels a little bit cheap. Um, it's not the biggest problem. How much was it? It was like £5.50, which is quite decent. I'm using my trusty um, Morphe uh, M415, which is essentially a highlighter brush. And, oh, oh yeah. Again, you probably cannot see it because my lighting is just the worst. Um, sorry. And, oh, that is, that's very nice. Like I said, Beauty Bay are um, just doing the most fantastic job when it comes to making their own products. I'm not a big fan of lip glosses. Otherwise, I would have purchased one of those to give it a go. But lip gloss is not really my jam. Um... That's really nice, 550, and it comes in a big selection of shades for all skin tones. That's what I like about most brands these days. They're just very inclusive, um, as it should be, because why would you question that? Anyway, lastly, we're going in with the lips. And again, when I was shopping in Debenhams, I saw this on sale and I was just like, I'm getting that for 750. I've got a mini selection of, oh, you can see <laughs> my reflection, um, a selection of like KVD Everlasting lipsticks. So I was wondering why it was so cheap, and it's because it's still got Kat Von D's name on it. Um, so these are, I guess, quite old. It's like remaining stock, which is okay for me, as long as they're just not mouldy. Um, so you get a section of two, four, six mini lipsticks, and I was just like, I'm having that. <laughs> and then obviously you realise how tiny they are, but again, me and liquid lipsticks, they just never run out. Um, I think I'm going to go just choose a random shade because I can't be bothered to like look under all of them um, because I'm lazy. Um, so the first one I just picked out was a nude and this is so small I can't see. Um, like literally I cannot, oh it's called bow and arrow. 
thing is I have to wear glasses and I cannot you know what I'm just gonna put it on I don't care I don't care what it's called <laughs> I'm gonna be using these in my next kind of coming up videos I don't care right very nice it's like a gray is it gray shade oh it's like a dark nude sorry it's not gray I'm clearly colorblind Hmm. that's very nice and I've said previously before I really like the formula for these lipsticks um if you kind of pile them on they do get quite um get quite clumpy so it might be better if you just take off the whole thing and then reapply because if you just keep on adding on top it will happen so this is my finished look what I'm going to do is sort out my lighting and show you guys what everything looks like properly so I've just turned on the light so you guys can actually see what I look like properly with everything and these eyes are very nice. <laughs> I'm really like it. The lipstick is very nice. The um, blush I guess is very um, quite minimal but I think I need to just build it up again. This, oh, I love this eyeshadow. It's fantastic. The highlighter, are amazing. Um, I mean if the Nikki Tutorials palette comes back in stock maybe try and pick it up because it's a good palette and Beauty Bay palettes are so freaking good. Um, but yeah, that is my kind of tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be featuring that palette again, just so I can try a couple of more colours because there's some purples and other ones that I really want to try out. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I upload and film every time I get a chance to, but the other way around. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sort that out. I'm not doing it... Um, deliberately um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys